May the force be with you. May the force be with us. That's us. how I sign the posters now, and I feel different because it says us at the end. It's special when you include everybody. Yeah. I don't know why it's so, like, before it's a bit selfish, isn't it? It should, like, be all of us. All inclusive. Congratulations on Rogue One, your Star Wars film. Is that still a little bit surreal to think, holy moly, that's me, Garth, my name's up there now with that film? I mean, it's never your film. It's like Star yeah, Wars. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. I think legally Disney own it. I, it, you know, or the world owns it now. Like you give it, you sort of borrow Star Wars and then you give it back. Um, and I think honestly, if someone, if one individual is to take credit for any Star Wars film, it's George Lucas. And and my my only real drive, like through this whole thing, was just trying to trying to get it to be as good as the films I grew up with. Because to me, they're masterpieces. And the idea of doing a film that directly connects the original was like, okay, if we do this, we've got to like shoot for the moon. Well, speaking of it, that's no moon. He's mm -hmm. just throwing like the Star Wars quotes. But uh, speaking of the films that you grew up with, uh, the masterpieces, are we just all agreeing then that we're renaming episode four Rogue Two? Is and you that, hope. That's, that's official. Rogue, Rogue Two, two and you, colon, and you hope. Oh, you've got it all, the font ready and everything yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Excellent. And now that Rogue One has been added to the Star Wars canon, would you have a recommended view in order for all of the films that it gets exist? It's tricky, doesn't it? Yeah, what do you reckon? I mean, if you've what never seen any of them, or if you're a fan, if you've never seen any of them, then obviously the thing you start with is Rogue One, right? And then you then you go into obviously. A New Hope, Empire, and I, I think any order kind of works. Um, I, You know what's interesting is I don't have any kids, right? But if I ever had um, children, a really big deal moment for me would be showing them Star Wars for the first time. And I would show them A New Hope first and then part of my brain which is going to be so surreal is thinking yeah and you know what there's a f there's a film that comes before this that dad did and it it still hasn't hit me that I've done that you know what I mean I watched the original Star Wars every day you know before school as a kid and uh, got into filmmaking because of this the, the idea of actually doing the, the film that connect you know connects directly to it is is just a bit surreal there are obviously so many people uh, around the world who are seeing the film for the first time this week and that's yeah. probably you know a mixture of relief and holy moly <laughs> it's out there now but is there one person to you that you want to see it somebody special to you and you like I hope they see it and I hope that they really love it um, you know that that makes it all worthwhile for you personally there was yeah his name was George Lucas, and he saw it maybe a, like a week ago now. And I got to speak to him with him on the phone, and... Do you have his number on your phone now, either? No. No. <laughs> I did used to have an app, you know, like this fake apps where um, you can make it look like someone's ringing you. Yeah. And I honestly had George Lucas as my fake ringer. And I used to be in meetings, and this was before I got into filmmaking. I'd be like working television, and I'd let it ring, and George Lucas would flash up. And I'd let people see it, and I'd go, Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, I've got to take that later and carry on with the meeting, see, like just to see to if it'd wind yeah. people up. If they go, do you know George? How do you know George Lucas? And now potentially, happens and now it's sort of really <laughs> happened. Sort of yeah. really happening. Well, there's a number of Irish connections with the cast members as well, but uh, Scarif is actually a place in County Clare. Is now, it? It doesn't look as nice as yours. Is Scarf. it written just like that? Uh, the, spelling. the spelling is slightly okay. different, but uh, it's not like overtaken with imperial forces or anything like that. But in Irish, the word uh, scarf actually means uh, like a crossing point or a connection between two things. Ah. So I don't know if that was intentional or not intentional. But I think it's it's a lovely little meaning behind uh, wow. the, the end of the film. I went I went to that wasn't the connection, but we all take it. The the um, I went on holiday to Tunisia, um, where they shot the original Star Wars. And as you drove around, you passed towns called uh, Tatooine and Jedi, and they're just little villages. And you start to go, oh, that's where George got it. And it's like, you just like, whenever you've got a name something at Star Wars, you basically get a map out and try and find some fancy words that sound like they could mean something. Well, just to finish up, uh, I know, are you rebel side or are you Empire? Because we know the cast members, but this is your... No, it's got to be the rebels. Got to be the rebel side. Yeah. You can take that oh, one. Oh, cool. Now. Yeah, you're part of the rebel lines. Thank well, you. thanks, Gareth. Cheers. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Very much. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>